So here we're looking at an account record inside of Salesforce, but I'd like to change the shipping address associated with this account. But doing this might impact active orders associated with this account. And the question is, how do I create a business process that will help me orchestrate this change? Well, to do this, I'm going to use a low code builder tool called Flow Builder to create a new business process. Now, flows come in a few different flavors. There are screen flows, which can interactively guide users through a process. And there are auto launch flows, which can automate tasks in the background. But today, let's look at a screen flow. So the flow you're seeing here helps me change an address and update any orders impacted by that change. And I built this flow using this drag and drop library of interactions, logic, and data. But let me walk you through how this works. So the flow begins by retrieving the current record. And then using this data, I've created this interactive screen, which lets the user type a new shipping address. But I also added a toggle switch to this screen. And this switch allows users to optionally update the billing address. And I'm using a feature called component visibility to make this second address dynamically appear or disappear. Now, once the new address is entered, I'm presenting this confirmation screen. And on this screen, I'm also displaying a map of the new address. Now, this is a custom Lightning Web component that I was able to create to add this new feature to Salesforce. And after that confirmation screen, I've added a bit of logic to validate whether the address was confirmed. And if it was, I'm retrieving any active orders associated with this account, then looping through each of these orders and updating the address, and then sending a notification about this change. And then finally, I'm displaying a success screen. But let's go see all of this in action. So here we are back on that account record, but I wanna call your attention to this change address button because I've mapped this button to the flow we were just looking at. And if I click it, I can start interacting with this flow to enter a new shipping address. But watch what happens when I click this toggle switch. So that second address field dynamically appears and I can use it to update the billing address and then proceed to the next step. And here's that confirmation screen, which includes the custom map component that I created. And if I confirm this change and click next, a lot of stuff is going to happen. So not only did we get this success screen, but if I close this window, you'll see that I also got a notification about the order being changed. And if I click into that notification and scroll below to order history, we'll see that this order was indeed updated with the new address. And this is how Flow Builder helps me build automated and interactive business processes.